in the land of grills. Yes, we're back. We're doing a challenge today. A lot of you have asked about, hey, I want to get a, you know, medium size portable charcoal grill. Folks, that's what we're doing today. We're going to, we're going to do a challenge between these three. Right, right, right over there is that's the Weber Jumbo Joe. It has been modified. In the middle, we've got the Char Grill Acorn Junior. And over there is SNS Grills, their travel kettle. All three of these grills are portable. We're going to go through each one of them. We're going to show you all the, all the features. I'm going to talk price, tell you what price is. And in the end, and in the end, uh -huh, I'm going to tell you which one of these three would I choose. Which one of these three would you choose? Hey, and while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe, like, you know, you know all the stuff to do. Hey, and if you want to help support the channel, that's super thanks down below. Boy, I'll tell you what, you want to buy me a beer? Buy me a beer. Let's get started. All right, let's first talk about size. So these, uh, the s and and the Weber are known as 18 inch. Yeah, when you measure the grate, it's about 17 and a half. Uh, the Acorn is 14, so it is a little bit smaller. However, it still fits into that medium category, category in my opinion. Let's take a look at some of the exterior features of them, and then I'll tell you what, we're gonna look at price, and then we're gonna dive into the inside. So we'll start with the Weber Jumbo Joe. This was around before either one of these two was. And the Weber Jumbo Joe is, uh, like I said, I've modified, you said, what have you, what'd you modify it? Well, I put this little handle on here so it's not hot. I put a little temperature gauge right there in the middle. And I used a file handle down below so you can open and close the the, uh, the bottom grate. I've also put a probe port in there. And that was made by a guy named Lewis. I forget the name of his. If I can find it, I'll, I'll leave it down in the description. In fact, I'll try and leave a description in the descriptions of the reviews I did for all three of these kettles. So with the Weber, you got to remember why I don't have this and that. It's a pretty basic unit, but it is 18 inch. And it is serves as portable. Now, a lot of you folks are going to say, "Well, what classifies these grills as portable?" So let, let's get that out of the way and show you how what classifies. All right. So what truly makes them portable is the the bid lid. Um, you, you've got the lid bail. The lid bail holds when it's open, but when it's closed, then you've. And this is only on the Weber and on the Sloan here. It pops up like that. Then you pick the whole thing up and it holds this secure. Obviously, you want to clean out your charcoal matter, you know, make sure nothing's hot when you're going around. But it's the same thing over there with the uh, SNS. The SNS does the same exact thing. On the char griller, you've got two nice handles on the side. So that's truly what makes all three of these portable. All right, going over to the SNS travel kettle. So it comes with all, it comes with a temp gauge right here. They've got a, a cool to the touch for your for your top vent. Your bottom vent now, it's totally different. They have the type of vent down there. And, and when we go on the inside, you'll see it, but it makes easier clean out and it gives you a little bit more oxygen going in. So you really can get this thing rip roaring. It does have a pro port right there. And then it's got a blower hole right there if you want to put a thermostatically controlled blower in there or you could just leave this bottom vent closed and open this and control your air that way so a lot of good innovation here on the sns kettle grill that one has stayed the same over the years they haven't really done anything like i said modifications are easy to do and some of this will show up when we look at the price i don't want to neglect the, the charger acorn junior here it, it does have a probe and uh, it's got a lot of cool things going on. It's got a latch there to latch it, so it help, helps it to, to remain portable. It has got, of all the three, it's got a hinged lid. So that makes it really, really nice to use. And uh, it is double wall construction. So this is a painted service, whereas these, the, the s and and the Weber, are, uh, are, are a porcelain coated enamel. So this is, uh, you know, this is gonna probably handle the test of time a little bit better than this will. But there's a whole lot of differences here between the two, and let's let's talk about that for a second. So a few of you are gonna point out was Tom, these are kettles. That's technically a Kamado, and you're right, it is. But it's like I said, it's also portable, and it, it was. It's hard to do just these two and not include this because there's so many cool things going on here. You got double wall insulation all the way around. Uh, it's very, it's very much a charcoal miser when it comes to, and you can do low and slow like a regular Kamado. And it's got a cast iron grate, and you can get it smoking hot and do some really nice steaks on there, like 
very, very nice. So there are a lot of things that are similar and there's a lot of things that are different, but it's still in that same category. Let's start looking at prices. All right, so there's the SNS Travel Kettle Grill. Now this is without any accessories. And if you're gonna get a, a slow and sear kettle, I'm sure you're gonna want the slow and sear on the inside too. So without the slow and sear, it's 160 bucks. All right, let's look at the Acorn, uh, Acorn Junior here from Char Griller. Uh, been searching around for the best price. Uh, I was on Walmart at Home Depot and Amazon, and it actually looks like the best price is on Char Griller's site alone. 170 bucks, and there is only one accessory that I would recommend for this. All right, the Weber Jumbo Joe, there it is, 90 bucks. Uh, so it's the Jumbo Joe, the uh, travel kettle uh, by SNS and then the Chargler being the most pricey. All right, so on the inside, there's a lot of choices here. And on, I've got these outfitted with the Sloan Sear charcoal basket that goes for the 18 inch, and they have a dripping griddle that is stainless steel. They also have one, I believe that's cast iron. I'm not, eh, don't quote me on that. I, I know they have a cast iron one. I'm not sure if it fits the uh, 18 inch, to, but also on their travel kettle, you can see I've got it on both of those now. On the, uh, on the Char Griller Kamado Junior, Acorn Junior, you have a you have a stone, and uh, that stone, if you're going to do any low and slow, is you got to have it. Great about it, it sits down there low. You can cover it with aluminum foil. I usually put a drip pan underneath it, and uh, you know you're saying, well, you know, you're not going to get a brisket on here, but uh, you know I've done uh, pork tenderloin on there. Uh, I've done uh, like a turkey roll on on there. So it, it, like I said, it is smaller but it's also portable and you know right off the bat you're seeing the difference there's a big difference you got cast iron grates and you got uh, steel grates and then i believe what comes comes typical with the sns i believe is stainless steel grates all right so we'll start with that charcoal bra basket and you can see it is uh 45 bucks i believe that's on sale it is december of 23 so this is probably a christmas deal that's going on uh so 45 right, bucks so the that. the mini drip pan which is stainless steel is 40 bucks. They do have a cast iron one and it's a little bit more. All right, the smoking stone for the uh, Acorn Junior is uh, 29 bucks on Amazon. I, I looked on Char Griller site, it didn't even have it listed there. So there's a lot of other uh, uh, aftermarket manufacturers making this and selling it for cheaper too, but I'd prefer to stay with the Char Griller. All right, let's talk about vents. On the top lid, you can see the Weber iconic four holes right there, the daisy wheel. You've got a daisy wheel on on the uh, SNS, which is you know gonna do about the same thing, and then you've got that that one right there on, on the Kamado. So yeah, you know, they're all pretty equal in the all. Right, bottom vents, you've got uh, the jumbo drawer right there. The uh, travel kettle from SNS has got the ash cleanout system, uh, and it, uh, they tout that they have bigger holes so you get more oxygen coming up, so you can get a hotter fire. Uh, the uh, Auto Kamado has got it right there, open, close. One thing that the SNS talks about a lot is that they have a bigger charcoal grate, therefore you get more charcoal and you can sear more steak. Let's just see that. Here's, here's the Weber, let's just take it out and put it on top of the uh, SNS. It is bigger, not much. All right, totally different on the Kamado. You can see we've got an inner tub here. So this part is double walled, insulated. And then we've got an inner tub and your charcoal grate is right down there. In fact, this whole thing is removable when it comes to, uh, you wanna clean out your charcoal in that. Now let's take a look at all three of these because they're a little bit different, all three of them when it comes to cleaning out the ash. Well, the Weber is a Weber. Uh, <laughs> it goes on those three holes and you've got your ash catch right down there. The uh, SNS has got its sweep, which is uh, really similar to 22 inch kettle sweeps. And uh, they also have an ash catch very similar to the Weber. Now, Acorn's a lot different. Let's take a look the at acorn, that. Acorn, you see it right there, there's a latch on both sides. You undo that latch and then uh, the whole ash removes ash pan removes and comes out and then you just dump that out and it's the same on its big brother the full-size one of, of this and it's uh 
you know, you, you would say, well, that just leads another place for air leak, but they have this nice gasket like they have on the lid that keeps things nice and tight. And I've had a fair amount of these over the years and they, they hold up pretty well. Okay, so when it comes to mash management, which one of these three is, three is better? And, uh, you know, I, I guess <laughs> I, I can't pick a true winner because all three of them work. Okay, so the acorn is a little bit of a pain in the butt to use. I'll admit that you got to get both those down. You got to pull it out. You got to put it back in. Uh, in the past, and uh, I had one of these once in a full size version where that was the first piece that rusted out. So, you know, does it work? Yes. Uh, this is tried and true. And, you know, obviously they're the same. So, I, you know, these are probably going to last a lot longer and uh, they're just going to be better. However, these have a tendency to get lost sometimes because they do totally come off. There's no way of securing it and they're relatively light. The only thing is, is that the S and S made theirs a little bit out, a little bit heavier uh, aluminum as opposed to the Weber. The Weber is pretty much light. It's kind of like a Frisbee. Once the wind gets it, it's just going to go. So of the three, probably go with the S and S on the Ask Ash Catch. Well, we got to talk weight too, because someone's saying, well, you didn't tell us how much they weigh. Now, I, I think it's pretty obvious the heaviest is right there. That's 33 pounds without the stone. So probably with the stone, let's let's just say 38 pounds, possibly. Uh, 18 pounds per Amazon, 17.8 pounds per the s, s grill site. So the lightest one by a little bit is the s, &S the, Once again, pretty similar, a lot heavier. Well, which one cooks the best? You're going to say, Tom, which one cooks the best? Well, you know, that, that's that's somewhat subjective, although I'm going to tell you right now that uh, this thing, and I've used it for low and slow, and it works very well, and I've used it for hot and fast, and it is smoking hot and fast, folks. I'll tell you, you can sear some steaks on that thing like you wouldn't believe. Now, can you sear and do low and slow on this one? On this one? Oh, oh yeah, you can. And do they have more space? You know, when you put the stone on there, and if you're using the setup that uh, of the uh, slow and sear on this one and this one, they're pretty similar in square inches when it comes to low and slow. Hot and fast, if you're just using coals down there, obviously you're going to have uh, more square inches on this one and that one. And you saw the size difference in the charcoal grates, which was nominal. But uh, yes, you would probably have a little bit more sear area with the SNS as opposed to the Weber. You know, it seems like they SNS found some key points and they just wanted to say they were better. And it's really not better by a lot. It's better in some points by a little. Um, let's talk some other stuff. Here's what we're going to talk about. <laughs> I get into some trouble with this because a lot of loyalists of slow and sear out there. And here, here, here we go. Do you really need this and this? to make the Weber Jumbo Joe, Jumbo Joe a better grill. Well, you can take this away and just put aluminum pan and bend it up in there to fit, or to you make your own. That's just a aluminum pan, charcoal over there, you put some water in here, and you almost got the same thing going on. Or, or if you, you know, if you want, I, I did a review of this and it's sitting right here for the 22 inch kettle and it worked very well, but they also have a version that fits the 26 inch and fits the 18 inch and uh, That'll hold your water and it's stainless steel and everything and uh, it's it's pretty uh, Competitively priced at 55 bucks. I'll leave a link down below to review I did on that But you know if you're saying that you got if you're gonna have one of these guys that you have to have a slow and sear I think you have choices All right, let's talk about which one I would choose if it came to price obviously the Weber all the, all the way Weber quality, uh, you know, if you want to do a couple little mods, and I, I think I've shown that you don't need to do the mods in order to cook on it. If you if you got to have the mods and don't want to do the mods, that's and that's without a doubt. Um, it's got all the little extra gadgets, and uh, it, it, all three cook just fine, as so does that one. But I tell you what, if it were me, and price meant nothing because that's the most expensive one. This thing has many rolls. And uh, even being a little heavier, it's uh, quite a bit more expensive than that. Uh, it's even this is a little bit cheaper than that. 
this one right here. If you're gonna ask me, Tom, if I had to choose between the three when it came to cooking, searing, low and slow, the acorn, the Kamado beats both of those. If it comes to weight, this one or that one. It comes to price, that one. For me, it's that one. The Char Griller. Tom, where's my YouTube? Like I said, which one of these three would you choose? Hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget if you want to support the channel. Super thanks down below. Thanks for playing along, folks. Have a great day.